Hi there, it's Tom Meeks of the Cubify Fans blog and also the Moment of Inspiration Users blog. That's moiusers.blogspot.com. We're going to be talking about Construct Loft today in our introductory series of tutorials for Moment of Inspiration. As usual, I'm going to be using circles, but I'm not going to start there. I'm going to start by drawing lines. In fact, I'm going to start with polyline because I want to help have the polyline tell me where I'm going to be drawing my circles. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to come back to this point right there. And every time I click my left mouse button, I'm able to drop a new line. All right, and then we're going to come out to, I'll tell you what, we'll come out to here. All right, and I'm going to say done. Now, we have a line that doesn't make much sense until I do something else to it. So I'm going to take this line, I'm going to edit it, say show points. I want you to remember that we have a point for the top line, two points, two points for the midline, and two points for the bottom line. That's important. As we go to the front view, I'm going to take this point here and this point here. Those are the two bottom points for that bottom line and move them over. I'm going to do the same thing here and here. Okay, so now what we have is we have, if I go to the 3D view and we move this around, you'll, you'll see that we have some offset lines that looks like a paper clip. Go to the right side and we're going to continue to modify what we have by adding some points to these vertical lines because I want to make it truly look like a paper clip. And I do that by coming up to the top and pulling it out three, pulling it down here and pulling it out three. And you'll notice now that we actually have a nice circle. Same thing here. Come out, we don't have to go quite so far, but we do have to stay on the same line you know, and be per perpendicular, have our line be perpendicular so that our, our circle is even. So now we have a truly, um, an object that truly looks like a paper clip. Let's go back to our right view. I'm going to click off of everything and I'm going to click on this point. Now I hope by clicking on this point right there that I can make the circle that I draw when I bring it around the front draw right at that location. If not, we can move it, but it's more fun if it starts there. Let's go back to our right view. Nope, it didn't. So now we're going to have to go here. We're going to go to transform, move, and we're going to select that circle and move it right out here to the end. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Now we have a circle on the end of this line. What we're going to do is have a series of circles be drawn along this line to make the object that we want to make. And we do that by clicking on that circle, go to Transform Array, and click Curve. Now you've seen the array before with Direction and Circular, but this time we're going to use Curve. And I'm going to select this curve, and you'll notice that I have, I've already put in 30 points. So I have 30 circles that were created along that path. And I'm going to say done. Now, in order to be able to turn this off and on, I want to name it. So I'm going to say my path. Because at some point it doesn't make any sense to be seen. And I'm going to turn that off. And I'm also now going to name my circles. Because at some point I want to turn those off too. I want to use them and then get rid of them. Or at least make them invisible. So now we have my path turned on and my circles. I now need to make some changes to some of these circles. And I do that by clicking on the circle. And I'm going to say, make this 25. OK. And now I want to make this circle uh, 15. OK. And then I want to make this circle 10. OK. Now, I then want to get rid of this circle and this circle. 
I could even get rid of this circle, but for right now, we'll keep those. I want to move these a little closer to this front, right there. And then I'm going to take this one, and I'm going to move that one a little closer. There we go. Now, we're now going to loft using these circles. Well, you'll see what loft means in a second, because I'm going to click on this circle, this circle, this circle, this circle, this circle, and this circle for right now, just to see what our loft looks like as it starts. Now I'm going to go to construct and loft. Well, that's not that's not bad. We have sort of a, a good shape here. I might be able to move this just a hair closer. So I'm going to say cancel. And I'm going to refine that a little bit by going to transform move and uh, zoom in here a little bit more and we're going to move it to there. All right, so now I'm going to come back out and we're going to go a little further with our shape. And we're going to go this, 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 and then go around here. Now, I know from experience that when we go through here, it could get confused if I select these circles. So I'm going to avoid those circles for right now and only go halfway around. So there we go. And now I'm going to say Construct Loft. Wow, that's not too bad. That's actually coming up with a pretty good look at our, uh, at our uh, trumpet or bugle. However, I want to show you something. You can cap the ends if you want, or you can make it so that the ends aren't capped. That is, it's a hollow shape. And since this is a bugle, we're going to keep that hollow shape. And then I'm going to say Done. Now, while it's not perfect here because I didn't make my curve perfect, you get the idea. Now I'm going to go, he, before we go any further, I'm going to go down here to this, and I'm going to zoom in by hitting Reset, come back out. I'm going to go to my Transform Array. This time I'm going to use directory, uh, d Direction, and I'm going to make, um, I, I think I'll make six. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to make six in fairly rapid succession. All right, so this I'm going to make seven. Okay. This I'm going to make eight. Let's make put an eight tab. This is eight. I'm going to make this uh, uh, six. Six. Okay. Oops. I do. Okay, I'm going to make six. There we tab. I hit uh, something that I shouldn't have hit. All right. Now, if I zoom out here, you'll see that I have this kind of shape. It's going to simulate a mouthpiece. Okay. So let's uh, bring our uh, items in view, and we're going to continue now to use loft to finish the shape of our bugle. Now there's one hidden behind here. I don't have to use that because uh, well, I can actually get to it, but I don't have to use that because the, the shapes were the same size as we come in. Let's come in here and make sure that I can get all of these. Okay, let's zoom back out. And we're going to hit Construct Loft. Now, this then is simulates our bugle. And we have the cap ends turned off. And I'm going to say Done. And now I'm going to turn my circles off and, um, and my path off. And we now have a bugle that we've used loft to create. And that's all there is to, to uh, using something like loft. So I think it is really cool command. It really has a lot of neat features and can do a lot of neat things. So I hope this was interesting to you. Uh, look forward to uh, some more loft in the next tutorial because I want to show you how we can make odd shapes blend together.